Now this is a city of love. I thought Paris was a city of love. There's way more love here. Because there's a lot less people, the weather's better, and it's a lot prettier. This is where it's at. The other plus side is the water station. So you get the cleanest, purest water for free all throughout the city. Can't argue with that. So way off to the distance behind me, somewhere in this area, you can maybe see the Alps that are still covered in snow. Tomorrow we're going to Interlaken and also Zermont, so we should be able to get up there and see some snow in June. Welcome to Lucerne. It's the next day, we're on our way to Interlaken, but we stopped in Lucerne for the halfway point just to get a break, see something new, and uh, grab lunch in a little bit. This place is really beautiful, check it out. Yep, we gotta move to Switzerland, folks. This place is perfect. People are lovely, food's great. What else can you ask for? So we finally made it to Interlaken. Actually, we're about 20 minutes outside of Interlaken at our hotel. We were kind of bummed out that our hotel wasn't in Interlaken until we figured out where it actually is. So when we got to Interlaken, we jumped on a bus and the bus took us straight up the mountain for about 25, 30 minutes. So we're pretty high up in the air, and the better part is the hotel itself. So check this out. We splurged a little bit on this, but uh, check this out. This is amazing. We got this whole entire foyer. It's actually the corner unit. And then here's the best part. We have views on top of views. Look at that, it's dead silent. And then way off in the corner, you can see the snow all over the top of those Alps. And tomorrow, we're going to the top of those Alps. So we're about to figure out dinner. There's only two options up here. You either eat at the hotel or you eat at this one other restaurant. So we're gonna go find some German food and uh, I'll tell you how that goes. Good morning. We're on our way to the top of Europe. A um, few minutes outside of our hotel. We're about to jump on a few of the few more buses and a couple of those sky trains that take you up through the cables. It's not too bad down here. It's about 60 degrees, so we got a few jackets to prepare us for the snowy weather. And let the fun begin. This is the Harley gang of Switzerland. A bunch of mopeds running the streets. And there's actually quite a few of them. I wouldn't mind taking a tour on these things to see the mountains. The Grand Hotel Victoria. I'm telling you, this place is something else. It's unbelievably beautiful around here. The only other downside besides the cost of living and cost of everything else around here, honestly, is the people. This isn't Texas. I always use Texas as kind of a threshold benchmark on 
how well you're treated when you're in Texas, but that's not Switzerland. Um, people aren't necessarily as welcoming to tourists, no matter what country you're from. If you're not one of them, you kind of get isolated pretty bad. And I've read a lot of things that goes the same for children. So there's a lot of families that move here from other countries and their children seem to be excluded from what I'm reading online whenever they go to school. So it's a little tough to adapt in this country from what I understand, but it's worth it if you're uh, willing to take the chance. We found a casino. I don't know if I brought my blackjack money with me on this trip, but that's a heck of a backdrop for a casino. These are the cable cars that we're about to jump in to go to the top. It's starting to get a little chilly, so we had to throw on an extra layer, but about to rejoin the group and go to the summit. Alright guys, we're heading to the top with our friends up here. These sky cars are beautiful. Getting a little bit closer. Not there yet, but God, it feels so good outside. It's only probably 50 degrees. And we're surrounded by ice and snow. Here we are in Snowville, top of Europe. Can't see anything, but it's what the highest point of Europe looks like. Just white and cold. Just freezing winds. Luckily, I bought a couple extra jackets. Does it feel like Texas, Alexis? Alexis, Texas? It's crazy because it's like 100 plus degrees in Texas right now. Yeah, it's 110 in San Antonio, and it's like negative 40 up here right now. <sighs> Look at the skiers. There's three skiers trying to make it up the mountain right there. There's a couple more skiers way down in the distance over there. Now it's time for some fun in the snow. Some of these people think we're crazy because a lot of them either live around here, or live in other parts of the world that are more northern, but we'll appreciate it while we can. <laughs> It's the middle of the summer and we're in the glaciers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for food. is ice, the walls are ice. Put my tongue on it. We made it back to Interlaken from our day over at Jungbroff. I'm probably pronouncing it way wrong, but the top of Europe. Um, just checking out watches now. 
seeing the sights of Interlaken, and then tomorrow we're heading to another side of Switzerland, and then another side the following day, so still got a lot more to see. Tune in. We'll see you soon.